All right, this video is for the golfers out there who have a little bit of Photoshop skills. As golfers, we're always constantly battling our swing, and we're looking for ways where we can learn what we're doing wrong and what we need to do to get better. So I'm going to use Photoshop to help first analyze Rory McIlroy's swing, and then see how my swing differs from Rory McIlroy's. What I've done here is I've opened a video that I've downloaded off of YouTube of Rory's swing. This is just an MP4 file. It could be QuickTime, could be Windows Media, but since about CS4, you've been able to open videos with Photoshop. Photoshop adds this animation panel, and it actually lets you advance the video and reverse the video. And what I could do is I could make a new layer. I could grab my line tool, and I could draw a line right along the golf club here uh, to watch how Rory stays uh, on plane really nicely here in his swing. So as we come back, we can see that he comes off the line just a little bit, but when he's at this point in his backswing, we can see that uh, the club is nice and parallel with, uh, with the plane that he started on. And then as he comes down, we can see that he gets back on plane and rips the drive down the fairway there. So this is great for swing analysis. But what if I want to learn a little bit more about mine? What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag another video into Photoshop here. This is of me hitting. And what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to resize it just a little bit. And I'm going to actually change the opacity of it. This way I can kind of see us both. Now the reason I'm doing this is firstly so I can use my move tool here and I can a little better get us lined up. Now I'm a little bit taller than Rory here so I'm going to shrink the video down so we're just a little bit more uh, sized correctly. This isn't going to be perfect, but if I spent a little more time, I could make it work. Next, I'm going to try to synchronize our swings here. Now, I can see Rory starts to swing just about a little after one second here. And I start to swing slightly later than that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point where I start to swing and I'm going to drag that back to here. That way maybe we're synchronized just a little bit more. I can see I'm now just a little fast. And you can kind of adjust this back and forth as much as you need. Now what I'm going to start to do is slowly advance the video here. Instead of dragging, you could always use the little mark here, which moves it up frame by frame. You can see as we start to take it back, Rory is at a nice uh, straight line here with the club pointing right at his target, whereas me, I tend to miss that mark a little bit as we come up. I can see right where, you know, my club is kind of going off the frame here because it was outside the camera, um, but we're pretty close at the top. Not a bad position there, and then the downswing, both I'm uh, a little bit outside of, uh, of where I, I, I should be, come off the plane a little bit. Um, Rory, of course, is looking good where he's at, and as we follow through, there we go. So uh, we can see why he is obviously a much better golfer than I am, but it's kind of a cool way to be able to do a little swing analysis of yourself here with, with Photoshop uh, and a little bit different use than you might think of.